Hello pals, Picod's back again, um, doing another PC build just in case you were wondering. And yeah, let's jump straight into it. Okay, first up we have the AMD FX6300 3.5GHz 6 core processor. This is a good processor for gaming. I was either going to go with this or an i3 because an i3 is good for gaming, but it is a dual core, so a lot of modern games don't like dual cores and you will get less frames. So I went for this because it has six cores and all those cores are about clocked as high as an 8320, but there's not eight, there's only six. But it should get the job done for medium to high gaming, should, yeah, should be good. For the motherboard, I have gone with the MSI 970A G43 ATX AM3 Plus motherboard. This is a decent motherboard, uh, not very expensive, and it has everything you will need for a medium to high range, you know, low to medium range build, so yeah. That's a good motherboard. For the RAM, I have gone with Kingston HyperX Fury Black 8GB 2 times 4GB DDR1866 memory. Now you may recognise this from my previous build because, well, 8GB is the norm now, so most people will just get 8GB. Um, yeah, it, most games recommend it now, so yeah, it's perfect what you'll need. Okay. For the hard drive, I've gone for the Western Digital Caviar Blue 1TB 3.5-inch 7200 RPM internal hard drive. Um, I haven't caught an SSD in this build just because, you know, an SSD is a bit expensive for the amount of storage you get, and this is a low to mid to high range, I mean, that could mean anything, but yeah, it's it's pretty pretty cheap, so we don't want to get an SSD because that'll just be, just raise the price for not a very much amount of space, so yeah, we're just going with mass storage for this one. For the graphics card, I've gone with the GeForce GTX 950 2GB edition, um, it's a bit not as good as the GTX 960, but for most modern games, even AAA games, you'll be able to play from medium medium settings, get around 60 FPS most games, Witcher 3, GTA 5, it'll, yeah, and if you want to upgrade in the future, you might need to get a different motherboard, but you could SLI it, and that'll give you about the performance of a GTX 960, but I wouldn't recommend that, I'll just upgrade, so, yeah. For the case, I've gone with the Deep Cool Tesseract BF ATX Mutel case. I'm going with the BF edition, not the window edition, because, well, this is a cheap build. You don't really need a window on a cheap build. I mean, they're the same price, so if you want to go with the windowed version, you can, but, I mean, I don't really like, I don't reckon it'll look that pretty with the window on it, so I just went with the non windowed side. Um, it's got everything you'll need it as USB 3.0 front things that uh, has audio, it's got everything. It's got everything you'll need. And finally, I have gone for the Raid Max 635 Watt 80 Plus Bronze Certified Semi Modular ATX Power Supply. I've gone for this power supply because it's got a decent amount of wattage. It's semi modular, that'll help with cable management. And it's pretty cheap, it's only, it's only I think, $79. So, yeah, it's pretty, pretty bloody cheap if you want to go for a low end build. And, yeah, of course, there'll be no OS in this build because, yeah, that's your choice if you want to get Linux or a Mac, if you want to make it a. Hackintosh, you know, it's all up to you, so yeah. Okay, thanks for watching guys, this has been a PC build quickie, I made this as an $800 build, so if you're willing to spend a little bit, this is what you'll get. Okay, thanks for watching, bye.